Hey everybody, this is Mike with Klingspore's Woodworking Shop, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Bird Shelix helical head for the 54A Powermatic joiner. So stay tuned. Open up this box, and you can tell this is a wooden box, and they've even nailed the outside covering to it, so therefore it's nice and protected when it's shipped by UPS, because if it can fall from the roof and withstand the damage, then yeah, we're good to go. Always cut away from yourself. What do we got in here? Once we've removed the cutter head safely and effectively by hand, we've also taken out of the package, you get a screwdriver, you get a Torx bit, you get five extra cutter heads, and then you also get instructions, which we won't need. So let's go ahead and install this. First to install, we're gonna have to remove the um, cover, the safety guard here. And then also one of the things that we found out when ordering this is that there's two different models that you can get for the 54A. There's a larger diameter one and a smaller diameter one. It turns out that if you have a outfeed table that is adjustable, you can go with the smaller one and it will always work. If you do not have an outfeed ta table that is adjustable, then you will have to measure the diameter and get with Bird on that to make sure they get the right cutter head for you. It's rough cut on either side, so we'll get a good test of what it does on the old cutter head, the solid blade. All you have to do is turn that and pull that out and then let go of that nut. So we're gonna take off the fence assembly. This bolt right here, this is an eight millimeter X or Allen head. And you don't have to remove it, you just gotta loosen it. Play by play, remove the four screws. Uh, righty tighty, lefty loosey. In this case, we're lefty loosey. All right. It's not suggested to use a power drill for this because that would be convenient and simple. I think it's time to clean that. May have been a good idea to get a magnetic uh, finder for these screws and nuts. Then we'll take off the uh, back motor cover here. All right, so we've gone ahead and laid the joiner down on its face so it's much easier to work in this part of it because what you have to do is you'll have to get down to these bolts here, loosen them up so therefore you can take the tension off of the pulley and then you can get that off. All right, so when you want to loosen these up inside the dust chute is going to be the head of the bolt. So therefore we're going to hold this side and we're going to use a ratchet inside. So 12 millimeter on these. That's a 14 millimeter on that one. A bearing puller would be a great way to get these caps off. So with the bearing puller on the motor pulley side, you're going to want to extend the puller out in order to get more grab onto the bearing housing. Okay, so we're going to use an inch and an eighth deep well socket and a rubber mallet to knock these back in. Okay, so what we did is we took the packaging from the Bird Shelix cutter head and used that so we don't mess up the motor mount. One of the things we ran into when we were installing the keyway is that the channel inside of the Shelix cutter head on the shaft is not deep enough for the keyway of the original. This channel here on the bird is 32,000 shallower than the original on the Powermatic. So you can either file it down or you can just get rid of the keyway. Or buy a keyway that's the right size. So what we did on the keyway is we went ahead and just gave it a slight filing to make sure it fit a little bit more properly uh, when we go ahead and put the pulley on. All right, so we'll just uh, do the same process in reverse.
And so what we're doing is just making sure with a straight piece of wood that the outfeed is at the same height as the cutter head, or if we need to adjust further. On the cutter head, you want to make sure that the very far cutter is free and clear and not hitting anything at all before you turn on the machine. So besides the one tool that came with it, and this is for changing out the cutter heads later, what you are going to need is an eight millimeter Allen wrench, a three millimeter Allen wrench. We also use the uh, three eighths socket. You're also gonna need a 14 and a 12 millimeter wrench, adjustable wrench for inside on the motor. And this is for your motor stuff there when you have to do the pulley. It's not gonna hurt to have a rubber mallet a deep well socket for setting. If you don't happen to have bearing pullers, you're gonna need a set of those that just made it easier. And a regular hammer, and of course, a box cutter to open it up. So I hope that kind of explains how to install a uh, Bird Shelix cutter head for the 54A Powermatic. A couple issues you may run into are going to be the keyway on the motor shaft, maybe slightly bigger than the shaft that's on the Bird actual cutter head. So you may have to file that down or purchase another one that's a little bit smaller. Um, but really just need a few tools, a few basic tools you should have around the shop and you can pretty much knock this out in about two hours. It's helpful to have a friend with you, so buy some pizza. Um, but I wanna thank my dad, this is his shop. You may have seen uh, myself age about 25 years or so in the video, that was probably his arms that you saw. Um, but other than that, this is Michael Kling Sports Woodwork Shop. We appreciate you very much for watching. We hope you subscribe and stay tuned for more videos in the future. So let's go ahead and install this.